Hi, welcome to Oka Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this DM64 gigabyte storage device for computers or iOS devices. It's sold by Smarty US. It came with a user manual, this little carrying pouch. Pretty good material. Here's the flash drive. Over here we have the USB type A. And this is the MFI certified lightning connector. Pretty small device, very lightweight too. Here's my iPhone. This device works with iPhones, iPads, iPad Pros, and the moment you plug it in, it'll detect if you have the app or not. If you already have the app, it'll just ask you to launch it. Currently loading the data. Now this app is very easy to use. You have two columns, so here's the AI Play, and then the iPhone. Currently under this tab, it shows everything that's stored on the flash drive, and under the iPhone tab, here I can actually so it's my pictures, I can access uh, movies, camera, and on the upper right we have a little gearbox right here. The settings, I can just press this and back up everything for my camera roll, back up for my contacts, clear the cache, here's the app version and the firmware it's currently using. This app is free on the iOS App Store. I'm going to select this video file, then I'm going to say copy. I'm going to move it or copy it to AI Play. All right, it's been copied. So now if I go to AI Play, go to my all my files. It's here. And just my daughter playing with my phone, trying to take pictures herself. Now let's do a little speed test. I have the DM flash drive plugged into my MacBook Pro with Retina Display Computer, and the software I'm using is the Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test Tool. Let me choose my target drive. I'm going to choose the flash drive here. And also, the stress test will be testing 2 gigabytes. I'm going to start the test. The write speed is just above USB 2.0. It's not that great. It's, it was about 11 to 12 megabytes per second, whereas the read speed is more, much more acceptable, it's about 29 megabytes per second. These devices are inexpensive, very handy, and well they're a money saver, because that way I don't need to buy the more expensive iPhones that has more capacity. I can buy like the 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte iPhones, and well if I never need to load large video files, backup content, I can just use this, keep this with me. Yes, it's an extra step, but it's a lot better than spending another hundred dollars just to get 32 gigabytes additional storage on your iPhone. Well, overall, my opinion on this unit is mixed. If you're always transferring large video files between computers to computers or computers to your iOS device, well, then I would not recommend this because of the slow write speed. But if you're just transferring, like for example, image files, documents, and you need something that's like this, a very well designed adapter and I would recommend it. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.